this is Harry. Today let's talk a little bit about how to evaluate uh, project risk using quantitative risk analysis. You know when you go to see a doctor they'll do different things in order to examine and understand uh, your health and some of those methods are very simple. They'll check your temperature, they'll check your weight, they'll check your throat, say ah. <laughs> You know, and some of these things are very simple, only takes just a couple of minutes, and they begin to assess and understand our health. Now, as they're looking around, it may cause them to think that they need to take a deeper look at things. And so they may ask for x-rays, they may ask for an MRI, they may ask for a heart catheterization. And when they do that, what they're looking for is they need additional information to be able to make the very best decisions that they can for your help. Now, that's what we do with quantitative risk analysis in projects. That is, in many cases, qualitative risk analysis, a very simple assessment of probability and impact, maybe on a scale of 1 to 10, and we multiply those two figures and we come up with a risk uh, rating score, you know, a very simple way to get our arms around what risks are most important. But on some projects, particularly larger, more complex projects, our sponsors uh, want to know, they need additional information be, to be able to make the very best business decisions. And so we would lean on this quantitative risk analysis uh, process. Now there's a number of different ways that we can do this, but I want to share with you one that's fairly simple. It's called the expected monetary value method or the EMV method. Now, when people hear, project managers hear the term quantitative risk analysis, they think, oh no, this is complicated, this is hard, we better run for the hills, I don't want anything to do with that. Well, I'm here to tell you today, the MV method really is not that complicated. So let me share with you how this works. So you and your team have identified all these threats and opportunities and you're looking at a threat that's pretty significant for the project and you're assessing the probability or the likelihood that this risk may occur. And so you and your team say there's a 40% chance that this particular threat may occur. You then turn your attention to the impact. If the risk were to actually occur, how much would it cost you on this project? And you estimate that to be, let's say, $100,000. So we take the probability of 40%, we multiply that times the impact estimate of $100,000, and we get the expected monetary value of $40,000. Okay? So we do that for every risk, for every threat and every opportunity. And once we finish that, we add all of our values up. Now keep in mind, as you do this for opportunities, you're going to have a positive value where your threats are going to be a negative value, but you cumulatively add all these up and you'll get your total EMV or expected monetary value. Now I have the information that I need to be able to add to my reserves or to define my contingency reserves for the budget. And really the schedule works much like this. So I hope you'll give this a try. I believe that you'll find a lot of great benefit in this. Uh, give it a try. Let me hear from you. Love to hear how this works for you. Best wishes as you work with you and your team. Uh, take care. Thank you.